Hello and welcome to this session. I am Raghav and today we are going to see how to rerun or retry the failed test cases in TestNG in your framework. So we are going to go very basic step by step and we will see how to rerun failed tests manually, how to rerun the failed test cases in an automated way and then we will also see how to retry a test just after it has failed. So let's get started and I will go to my Eclipse and here is the project. I will create a new class. And actually before I create a new class, let me very quickly tell you why do you want to retry or rerun the failed test cases. So let's say you have 100 automated tests and you know that it takes around 6 hours to run the complete 100 automated test suite. Now let us say uh, you decide to start at 10 p.m. at night so that you can leverage the night time or you can also decide to start uh, late in the day for example if you are getting a build deployed at 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. then you might schedule your test runs at 10 p.m. and you can also take advantage of this running um, in an automated way without anyone having to check it or manually do some intervention so you start at 10 p.m. and let us say it started and in the middle of the execution there can be some environmental issues due to which the tests can fail so some environment issues can be the server is down for some time uh, some other issues can be um, network is slow so due to that your application or the tests are failing it they can be other things like application is slow and due to that it is not able to locate the objects on the web page or whatever test you are doing so there can be several several environmental reasons due to which your tests can fail and these are not functional issues so you cannot create bugs because of these failures and therefore you want that uh, by the time it completes let us say around 4 a.m. the execution is completed and you will reach office at let us say 9 a.m. So you want between this period 4 a.m. to 9 a.m. you want to leverage this period to rerun all the failed test cases so that you can rule out most of the failures due to these environment issues. Okay, so for example, there was a server down for 30 minutes and all the tests that ran in those 30 minutes got failed. So when it will it will rerun and the server is up, all the tests that failed due to server is down will pass. So your actual count of failure will be less and also you will get most of the functional failures which are actual failures for you. Okay, so let us now go to our Eclipse and create a new class. I will go inside my demo package and create a new class. You can create it anywhere you want and I will say new class and I will name it as testng uh, retry failed demo and here I will create a function public void test1 and I will say I will print a statement here I am inside test1 and to make it a testng test I will give the annotation at test make sure that you take it from org testng dot annotations okay so this is now a testng test and this is a very simple function I will copy this and I will paste it again and make it test2 and here I will say I am inside test2 and I will paste it again to create another test so I will paste it and I will say this is test number 3 and here I will say I am inside test 3 okay so we have got these three tests now I will deliberately fail test 2 so I can here uh, give anything that will cause it cause failure I will say int i equals 1 divided by 0 so this is of course this is not valid and it will create a failure and in test 3 as well I can say something like assert dot assert true okay and make sure you take it from org dot test ng and not from junit so here I will say asset dot asset true and I will give some condition which is not actually true so I can actually directly say false here which will fail this or I can also give something like uh, 0 is greater than 1 which is uh, not true which is false and therefore it will fail and now I can either create a testng file testng xml file 
by going to right click test ng convert to test ng and we will get a test ng file like this which we have already seen in our earlier demos you can do that or you can still run it directly by doing the right click and say run as test ng test so if you look at the result you can see test 1 is passed test 2 is failed and test 3 is also failed and now if you refresh your project let me just go and refresh my project and if you go inside the test output folder and expand it you will see a file here by the name testng-field.xml okay so this file is created whenever there is a failure and the details or the information about the failed tests comes here so if you look at this file the format is similar to a test ng xml file that we create and it is actually a test ng xml file just that it has information only of the failed test cases so you can see here it is saying inside the class demo dot test ng retry failed demo demo is our package and this is our class name we have test 2 and test 3 so you can actually directly run this file which has only the failed test cases and it will rerun only the failed test cases so for example now uh, after your entire execution is completed let us say the there was some failure due to server down or application was slow and now it is okay and you can now rerun this test ng failed dot xml by right click and run as test ng suite and here you can see now test 2 passed and test 3 is still a failure so there will still be some failures which are actual failures or which are due to some functional issues or due to some environment issue which has still not got fixed so that will again fail but you can see some of your test case can pass also okay so this is how you can run it manually by using test ng failed xml file and also how to do this in an automated way so let me go to the browser and search for test ng and here I am going to the official website of test ng which is test ng.org and I am going to the documentation and here if you see in the table of contents you will find rerunning failed tests and if you click here it will take you to this section rerunning failed tests and here they have given these two commands that you can use to run your entire testing so if you see the first command it is for running your test through your testng.xml file where you can give all the tests that you want to execute in your execution and then the second command is running our testng-fail.xml so after all your testing is done it will run this command which will take up your testng-fail.xml and all the tests that are logged into this file will get run so this is how you can just run these two commands and in an automated way you can run all your failed test cases or retry your failed test cases now let us also see how to retry a test just after a failure so here they have also given this if you read this sometimes you might want test ng to automatically retry a test whenever it fails in the, those situations you can use a retry analyzer and here they have given this details of how you can create it so it is a interface that you can implement just like we use listeners so let me actually just copy this command or copy these statements here which is a class and in my eclipse I will create a new class and I can create it anywhere let me create inside a listeners which is more logical you can create it anywhere I will say new class and I will say this is retry analyzer and say finish and here I'm just going to paste my code from test ng and I have to change the name here so I will rename to retry analyzer and then here it will ask me to import so I have to import it from org.testng and then what else we have to import let me just see okay we have to import this as well so I will go back and import the eye test results as well and here I am also getting some error here uh, so okay I can remove at override annotation which should be okay okay so here we have got our retry analyzer class and now how to use it again you can see the use here 
in your test that you want to retry after failure you can put this parameter in the add test annotation retry analyzer equals to whatever class you have created for retry analyzer so let us say in my class which was this demo this test 3 will fail and here in the annotation I will give a parameter retry I will press control spacebar on my keyboard it will auto complete equals to here I have to give my class which is inside package listener so control spacebar it will auto complete dot retry and here dot class so this is a class okay so here I have given the retry analyzer and I have mentioned my class and in my retry analyzer class I have added this code and here you can see if I just explain the code we are setting the retry count to 0 and then final or the max retry count to 3 and in this uh, code we are running this loop so if retry count is less than max retry count we are incrementing and then we are we have to rerun whenever there is a failure so as of now it is set to 3 so it will retry 3 times whenever there is a failure let us check I will do a right click run as test ng test and did you see test 3 got failed here and then it is retried 3 more times and if I change the count here to 5 let us say I will make it as 5 here save it and if I run this again it should retry for 5 times and yes you can see it has retried the test 3 for 5 times okay so this is how you can retry just after failure I hope this session was very useful for you you can do some more hands on with some more examples so the retry and rerun of failed test case concept is very clear to you and if you face any issues you can let me know and I will try to answer you as soon as I can I will meet you in the next episode thank you for watching